Yeah, I'm Kieran and I run Zap Graffiti in Liverpool, uh, which is the city's graffiti art focus venue. So Zap Graffiti started back in 1995 in Edinburgh. Uh, we moved down here about 18 years ago or so. It's actually my business. So we have a few part-time staff and the rest is all uh, the public becoming involved. Yeah, people often ask me if graffiti is an important part of Liverpool's culture and the answer's got to be yes. Um, if you go to other cities across the world, uh, graffiti and street art is a massive part of uh, culture. It's accessible because it's right there in your face. You don't have to pay for it if you're a viewer um, and you can get involved in it as well. Whereas some other art forms are a bit more um, yeah, harder to access, cost money, and they don't have the same impact. But on a daily basis, people from all over the world come to either paint in the city uh, or to view some of the artwork that's been produced. So we've over 50 sites within the city that people can come and paint their work legally, which we've got through uh, different community-based organisations, different businesses, uh, where basically artists can develop their work. Um, we also have the space here at the studio uh, where people come every day and paint uh, either their own stuff or through classes uh, to, to learn. So it's quite uh, wide. We've also run <coughs> a few mural festivals. So our most recent one <coughs> was the Contrast Mural Festival. We brought over 78 different artists from all over the world to produce works. Most of that work is still up and we're just in the process of developing another project uh, for later on this year. Um, we're quite a big partner, so that should be pretty cool. So I started painting graffiti, or messing around with graffiti, when I was about eight. Um, I used to hang around in uh, one of the best skate parks in the world, a place called Livingston, just outside Edinburgh. And I had <clears throat> say mates and my older brother were really good graffiti artists. And I used to kind of annoy them at their submission to get me paint. And one of my older brother's mates, a guy called Ease, was one of the kind of pioneering graffiti artists in Scotland. And um, I didn't know who he was, me and my friends just annoyed him and basically I got a smack in the head for trying to steal his paint and then I was like, I'm going to get my big brother on you and he's like, who's your big brother? And then it was like, oh he's my mate and then he came down with loads of paint for us and that's how I kind of started, kind of messing around and then started to really develop my work when I was in my teens. I suppose I just like making uh, funky colourful stuff, you know. Uh, when I work for clients it's about what they want, you know. So um, I try and focus when I do my own work um, on making myself happy and then when I work for clients it's about keeping them happy but also trying to keep a bit of integrity as well with the artwork you know so there's some projects I won't do so Zap Graffiti basically works with schools, youth, community based organisations uh, the wider public and mixed clients basically producing graffiti, doing workshops. It's about promoting graffiti as a positive art form, getting people involved and in making artwork. So over the years, I've been teaching uh, all age groups uh, about uh, graffiti and the positive sides of graffiti. And it's, yeah, it's, it's fun to see people uh, on a general basis have fun, and then others that will really develop the work and actually get into it as artists. Yeah, we've got quite a few projects on the go at the moment. And obviously, the, the studio uh, is open every day so the public come and use the space to develop the work. At the moment there's a couple of guys painting. It's quite a quiet day, some days there's, there's way more, you know, there's enough space here to fit in. You know, about 20 to 30 large scale works. Um, later on today I'm going to be working on a uh, mural for someone's house. Uh, does graffiti add to Liverpool? The answer would be yes. So there's, you know, the, there's graffiti vandalism and there's graffiti art. So <clears throat> what we try and promote is uh, the safe and legal use of graffiti, where people can develop the work and develop a space as well, so it adds to the city. Um, what vandals do, there's nothing to do with us, we try and get away from that side of stuff. 